welcome to Life Science Live. We're gonna wait just a couple of minutes to let some people jump on. Hope everyone's staying healthy and safe right now. All right, well, my name is Robin. I am going to be talking about teeth today and all the different kinds of adaptations that teeth have. So teeth are a really cool thing for our scientists to find on a fossil because teeth have so much information in them. Um, from a teeth, we can be able to tell what an animal ate, and that can tell us where they fell in the ecosystem that they lived in and what they, where they might have lived and different things like that. And some teeth can even tell us the age of the animals. So teeth have so much information stored in them, they're so cool. There are several different kinds of diets that animals eat, and their teeth vary depending on the diet that they eat. You guys might have heard the words herbivore or carnivore or omnivore or insectivore before. And those are all different kinds of diets. So a carnivore is an animal that eats meat, that eats nothing but meat. An herbivore is an animal that eats plants. An omnivore is an animal that eats both plants and animals. And an insectivore is a creature that eats insects and bugs. So like maybe a frog or a lizard or sometimes insectivores. Now I want you to think a minute, what are humans? Do humans eat meat or plants? And the answer to that question is that humans eat both, so we are omnivores. There are some types of animals that only eat animals, and those are the carnivores. And so we're going to be talking about the teeth on a carnivore today. All right, so this is an African lion. I'll hold on the side so you guys can see him. And we're going to use an African lion to learn about different types of teeth that carnivores have. So all different animals have different kinds of teeth. In humans, I want you to imagine taking a bite of an apple. And when you take a bite of an apple, do you take a bite with your front teeth or with your back teeth? Most of the time, it's with your front teeth that you take the bite of the apple with. If you try and take it with the back of your teeth, it probably wouldn't fit in your mouth very well. So you take a bite of the apple with your front teeth, and then you move it to the back of your mouth to chew it up, right? Most of the time, that's how people eat their food. So different teeth have different roles in our mouths. So we're going to talk about the different roles in our mouths and different roles that carnivore teeth have. So you see in our African lion here that he has different looking teeth, kind of three different sets of teeth in his mouth. So the front teeth right here, those are called incisors. Incisors are what animals use to take the bite of food or to like rip it or tear it. So that's like in our mouth when we take a bite of an apple, there are front teeth there. That's what we use to like rip and tear our food. So that's what these front teeth are. That's what he uses to take a bite, to grab his first food. These teeth, the ones that hang down here, these are called canines. Canines are what carnivores use to attack their food. Because carnivores are meat eaters, so they eat different animals, they usually have to attack and hunt down their food, so they use their canines to do that. So those are always really sharp. They're usually pretty big too, so that they can penetrate the animal. And then you'll see in the very back here, you have the carnasal teeth. Let's see if we can get a good look into the back of his mouth here. Kind of big. All right, so you see in the very back there, those are the carnasal teeth. That's kind of where our molars are, and they have the same function as our molars, and that's to chew up their food with. So those are the three different kinds of teeth that carnivores have. The different teeth have different functions. So that is our African in our carnivore here. Alright, so that was a carnivore mouth and the carnivore teeth and how the structure of the carnivore teeth work. And now we are going to talk about herbivores. Alright, so this is a skull of a domestic sheep. You guys think what sheep mean? Also, I forgot to mention if you guys have any questions or any comments or anything that you want to say or that you have Want to ask about, you can type it into the comments and I will try and answer them. Let me see. And if we aren't able to answer them now, we can hopefully go and answer them later. All right. Yeah, so if you have any questions, comments, want to say anything, go ahead and type that in. But all right, moving on. So we have our domestic sheep skull here and sheep eat grass. So they are herbivores. They eat grass and different kinds of plants. And so I want you to take a look at these teeth and think to yourself, you can either type it in the comments or you can talk to the people with you're with or just think in your own brain, what are some of the differences between these teeth and the lion teeth? So hold them up close so you can see them.
one thing you might notice is that there aren't any canines hanging down. Those are the big, long, sharp teeth, and that's because the sheep doesn't have any need to hunt or to track down its food, so it doesn't have any need for canines. You might also notice that its teeth are really flat. It's kind of hard to tell in the video, but they're kind of shaped like our molars in the back of our mouth. Our molars are kind of flat, and they have the edges that go out. The sheep will use that to chew up their food, just like we use our molars. So the sheep teeth are much flatter. They don't have any canines. All right, now let's talk about the front teeth here, the incisors of the sheep. Yeah, they don't look as sharp. So you'll see, it's kind of hard to tell because there's some kind of glue on this sheep skull mouth. But there are no top incisors on the sheep. They have something called a dental pad instead of top teeth in the very front of their mouth. And that's because sheep eat grass. And so they are able to, they use the dental pad as kind of leverage to pull up the grass and the plants on the ground. So they don't have any top teeth in the front, just bottom teeth. Just a cool adaptation that they have. So that's some differences between herbivore and carnivore teeth. Not quite as sharp, not quite as big, and specifically in the sheep, this isn't in all herbivores, but specifically in the sheep, they don't have any top and scissors. So that is an herbivore mouth, what herbivore teeth look like. So as you can see, there's some big differences between the different diets that animals eat and how their teeth are arranged. But there are also other lots of different reasons that animals have different teeth adaptations. And we're going to talk about what some of those reasons would be. So one of the reasons is going to be showed, shown to us by the hippopotamus that we have back here. So you can see this hippo has really, really big teeth. And that kind of reminds you of the carnivore mouth, right? He's got really sharp teeth here in the front, and they're really, really big, like the lion's teeth were when we saw a few minutes ago. But hippopotamuses are actually herbivores, so they do not eat meat. So think to yourself, what could be another reason that hippos have really big teeth if they just eat grasses? All right, hopefully you guys have some ideas of what other reasons a hippo would have really big teeth for. And the reason that, these, that this kind of animal has really big teeth isn't for the food, it's for protection. So the hippo lives in the same environment as like crocodiles and lions and other carnivorous animals that love to eat hippos. So the hippo uses its big front teeth to protect itself. So I have here another hippo tusk. You'll see it's really, really big. I wouldn't want to be attacked by anything this big. I don't think it would fit in our mouths very well. It's super, super big. So these work really well in defense and the hippo uses that to scare away its predators and help protect itself and protect its young. And you'll see in the very back of its mouth, we'll get a better view here. He has the flat kind of molars that herbivores have. And so that's what he uses to chew up his food. And then you'll see his lips here. That's how hippos pull up the grasses. They use their lips to pull up the grasses. So that is how hippos use their teeth. So we talked about the different adaptations that animals have to eat their food and how their teeth can also be used as protection. And so now we're going to talk about another animal and another way that they use their teeth. All right, so this is a beaver. And I'll hold him up real close so you can see his teeth. All right, now I want you to think to yourself, what are some differences or what are some unique things about this beaver and his teeth? You might notice that they're really, really long and they kind of stick out of his mouth. Because his mouth is closed right now, but you can still see his teeth. You also might notice that they're orange. They're not white like our teeth are, like any of the other, other animals that we've seen so far. They have orange teeth. And they're not painted that way and they're not fake. That's how beaver teeth actually look. So let's talk about why these differences are and why beavers have teeth like this. So for the long part, the reason that they stick out so long is because beaver teeth, the very front two teeth, never stop growing. They always are getting bigger and longer. And 
So beavers have to chew away at trees, they have to chip things up, and that helps grind their teeth down so they don't stay as long. If they get too long, they can't use them. And the reason that their teeth get super long is because beavers use their teeth a lot. And so they can sometimes get chipped and they get ruined. And so they are constantly growing long new teeth so it replaces all the ruined stuff. So they always have strong new teeth to help them do everything that they need to do. You'll notice that they're orange and that is because they have iron in their teeth enamel. So enamel is the hard outside layer of your teeth. And beavers need really, really strong teeth because they like to chew up trees and really hard things. And so they need super, super strong teeth so that they don't chip very easily when they're, chew when they're chopping down trees. So they have iron in their enamel. Iron is a kind of metal. And you know when things get really, really rusty, they turn a kind of orangish, reddish color, and that's the iron that does that. And so that's why their teeth are orange. It's kind of like the rustiness in, in iron. And so we talked about how beavers like to chew up wood, they like to chop down trees. So that is another thing that their teeth are used for. It's used to get their food and to create their habitat. Beavers like to eat the inside soft layer of bark, which is called cambium. So that's one reason they like to chop down trees. They like to eat the, the soft wood on the inside. And they also use that wood to build their habitat. So they use branches and sticks to build dams and water. So beavers are found near bodies of water for the most part where they can chop down trees and use it to build their environment. And they have these really, really strong teeth to help them out with that. All right, so we'll put the beaver away now. Okay, so, so far we have talked about how teeth are used for eating how different types of teeth help with different kinds of foods. We've talked how teeth are used for protection out and how teeth can help animals to build their environments. So teeth are really cool, right? Teeth do so many things with so many different kinds of animals. But there are some animals that don't have teeth. And so now we're gonna talk about birds. All right, so here I have a goal with me. This is a California goal. And I'll get his beak really, really close to the camera so you can see that he has no teeth there. So teeth are really heavy because they're a piece of bone and you need a jaw to be connected to the teeth. And jaws are really heavy because they're also made of bone. And birds try to be as light as possible because they fly around and they don't want to be heavy so it's easier for them to fly and it doesn't take as much energy. So instead of teeth and all the structures that teeth require, they have beaks which are really lightweight and allow them to get their food. So that is why birds have beaks. But even though birds have these beaks, they still have to eat, right? You've probably been at a park or had a picnic when these gulls will come down and they'll swoop and steal some of your french fries or some of your chips. And so we know that they still eat. They eat quite a bit. So the way that they chew up their food is a little bit different. Birds have this really cool adaptation where they have a different organ called a crop inside of their digestive system. So a crop is a little place that's full of little pebbles. Birds will eat little pebbles and little pieces of gravel, and it will stick in their crop, in their throat. And the thing that this, that these rocks and these little gravel do, I have these rocks here. Birds eat really, really small rocks and really, really, really small little pebbles. But these are a little bit bigger than they have. But what they'll do is the rocks will grind together. They'll grind all the food up inside of the crop. So that's how they kind of chew. They use little pebbles and rocks inside of their crop to be able to chew. So they don't need teeth. They just need their beaks there to help pick up the food and then it goes and gets crushed inside of their crop. So that's how they kind of chew, how they get their food into smaller particles so it can pass on through the rest of their body. So that is our bird. And if you guys ever went to the pond or if you went to a park where there was ducks and you fed the ducks, you might have noticed that ducks have kind of little ridges in their mouth. So we have this mallard here. Let's see if, it's kind of hard to see, but we're gonna to try to see the little grooves. Hopefully you can see these kind of little grooves right here. These kind of look like the little tiny teeth right inside the bill. These are actually not teeth. That's just an additional structure that's inside of the beak of the ducks. So what this does, what this structure is used for, is used for filter feeding. So the mallards and different kinds of ducks will use it when they're eating um, food in the water or aquatic plants, they'll use it to filter the food out of the water so they're not getting unwanted stuff in their stomachs. So even though birds don't have teeth, they have really cool adaptations that help them to digest their food and to make it smaller. 
so that they can still eat and so they can still be digested inside of their bodies. And that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for joining and learning about teeth with me. It was super fun. I hope you guys tune in tomorrow at 11 o'clock. We have Discovery Reading with Sarah. So that'll be tons of fun. You'll get to learn about new animals and it'll be great. So I hope you all stay safe and healthy. We'll see you guys later.